Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it would be fun to look back on a previous video I did last year of all of the products that I wanted to pan this year and see where I am with them. I actually had to look back in the video to see what I even picked because I couldn't remember. Um, and some of these have surprised me because I've actually done pretty well on them. Some of them I completely forgot about and I, you know, maybe should roll them into some projects or do a shot my stash with them. Um, but I thought it'd be fun, just like, you know, we're mid-year now, so what have I done <laughs> since January on these items, if anything? Am I closer to my goal of panning or hitting pan or doing anything about uh, the ones that I picked basically last year? So if you haven't watched that video, you know, I'll link it. But otherwise, yeah, I'm just going to be talking about all the items that I spoke about in the video and I thought it'd be good to just see, you know, what I've done so far. Okay, so this is in no particular order, but yeah, I'm actually really happy with some of these. Um, the first one that I picked is the Rivel Match Perfection. I wanted to finish this and I rolled it into uh, the Child of the 80s project pan that I'm working on. And right now I am here, so I had about halfway. And yeah, this one is going to be finished before the end of the year, which I'm really excited about. So this is definitely an item that I wanted to pan and I have been panning. So I'm really pleased that it was chosen and I've been working on it. And yeah, I'm, that one is a, is a good one. Um, another one that I feel like I've done a good progress on is, I mean, not good, but you know, I have been working on it and I forgot that it was in this video, is my e.l.f. concealer. So this one is the Flawless Brightening Concealer. I actually have this in uh, my musical panning, project pan right now, and I've been working on it and it is almost done. I feel like every time I do an update, I feel like, oh, it's almost done, it's almost done, but I do think that there's less product coming out because it is one of these um pumps so i feel like it is slowly disappearing on me so this one will be done as well very very soon if not in the next month then definitely in the next two months another item that i spoke about which i have been working on but it's been a, a real struggle to, to actually show any progress is my Kiko Milano highlighter. So this is the um, Light of Venus highlighter. So when I received this, it was all smashed and broken. And all of the broken remnants I put in this um, color switch here, and it looks like this. Now I have been using this on and off, and I do have it in my current Shop My Stash rotation, but I just keep forgetting about it. But there's still a lot. So my goal was to finish whatever is in here. I would like to finish that. Uh, this year because that's still a lot of product a lot of highlighter and I haven't even like touched the compact So that was my goal and I have been working on it But clearly obviously not a huge amount has disappeared from when I spoke about it last year, but it still smells Really good. It's it's just smells like paradise. It's really I love the Kiko Milano products They always smell really good. But yeah, this one is a work in progress. Uh, there were three actually four items that I spoke about in the video last year that I completely forgot that I wanted to pan. <laughs> so the first one is this eyeshadow palette from Primark. This is the Sunset Beach. This is actually a really nice eyeshadow palette. Um, the quality isn't really there, but the shades are really beautiful. It's, it's reflective, I'm sorry. And I think I wanted to hit pan on this shade and also just work on it a little bit more and give it a little bit more love. Now I have been thinking about pulling this for a shot my stash. So even prior to me, Watching, rewatching the video and seeing what I picked, I was already thinking about uh, wanting to pull this. It is a very nice palette for summer and also autumn. So I definitely feel like I'm going to be pulling that soon. So that will be, you know, coming soon, but I haven't really uh, pulled it yet. And I forgot that I even spoke about it. Another item that I forgot I spoke about is the Elf Putty Blush. This is, I don't know what shade this is. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't tell you, but it is a very, very pink shade. And I just don't like this formula. I really like other cream blushes that I've tried from e.l.f., but I do not like the putty formula. I don't know what it is. I just feel like it blends away um, and it's not, I feel like it's just patchy. I just don't think it works as well as, like let's say for instance, I'm working on this um, quad from e.l.f. and I've got two blush in here. Like you would think these two blush are the same quality as the putty blush, but it's really not. These are so much nicer. They're super pigmented. They don't 
wipe off the face you know they actually stay on the skin whereas this is so patchy um and i think what i wanted to do is obviously use more of it um yeah and i need to figure out what to do with this because there is a lot of product in here and i have barely touched this so i do need to put some more use into that or declutter it so that is an item that i forgot i spoke about but i definitely need to give some love and then there's two lip products here that i spoke about um wanting to finish and I have not, <laughs> I haven't even worked on them. So I've got the Maybelline Ink, uh, Matte Ink. This is the, their Super Stay. This is in the shade Ruler. This is actually a really nice color, but I, it's just, you know, obviously it's a liquid lipstick and, you know, it's like matte finish and it's not the type of color that I want to wear now, but definitely for autumn full time, I think this would be a one that I will pull. So that will be, coming soon and then another one i spoke about which i can be i can work on i forgot that i wanted to work on it is the elf retro paradise lip gloss this is really nice um this is the dream on lip gloss in the shade tropical fruit punch really really beautiful smells great i mean actually let me just test it oh gosh it does it does smell like it's going bad oh no <laughs> it does smell like it's actually going bad so I might get, yeah, I, I need to start using this. It's not going to last much, actually that much longer. <laughs> I've had it for two years now. So I'm going to work on this um, in my next shop, my stash. I'll pull this and I'll work on it because it is starting to smell a bit off. Oh, that's a shame. Anyway, <laughs> all right, moving on. So the, the last four items I actually have been working on. So I'm super excited and I forgot that some of these were rolled in. Um, one of them I spoke about was the e.l.f. Uh, quad this is the very bad eyeshadow palette now this one I feel like I wanted to hit pan on or get more use on and obviously I have hit pan I hit pan on it um in my pan those eyeshadows uh like monthly um sort of rolling style that I do and yeah I hit pan in that uh kind of recently actually so that's exciting that I wanted to hit pan in it and I have so that's one goal that I've reached another palette that I wanted to work on and give love was the Miss Bliss from Colourpop and I have two pans in this now I didn't have any pans in it last year and I've got two pans uh, all in the last six months so that's really exciting as well and I've also used it a little bit more this is a really beautiful palette and I'm excited that I've worked on it more and I've given it some more love and you know it's just one of those things that you know I didn't realize I spoke about it in, in the video and I have and I've done it so and then another item that I spoke about which I've been working on is my Clarins lipstick I have two of these so the explanation in the video was I have two of them. They're exactly the same shade. This is in the shade Papaya. This is the older formula. So I've been working on this. This is where I'm at right now. I've been working on this in my June Bride Project Pan, which actually has just finished. And I still need to finish this because I have two exact shades of this um, lipstick. So yeah, this one I still want to pan before the end of the year. I think I could do it. I just need to push myself. I haven't been reaching for many... Um, you know orange toned lipsticks recently but this one is one that i have been working on and it has gone down slightly um i'll put a picture actually of, of what you can see but i have been working on that so that one is exciting and then another one which surprised me and i forgot i spoke about this in the video and this is the last one that i spoke about is my stone vibes palette from urban decay i guess i wanted to give more use to <laughs> and show more love and i have i've actually hit pan in this shade opal aura and i'm working on this shade in my zodiac panna so naturally i've already been working on this without you know like forgetting that i actually had it in the video to work on so that's exciting to me so out of all the items that i spoke about six out of the ten i've actually already been working on and or have reached some of my goals so that's super exciting so it's just the last four really that i need to uh give some love to um, and just sort of like go back to what I wanted to do in the first place, which gives some love, you know, figure out what I want to do. I, I, want, I need to finish this. Um, but if I can maybe finish these two or get close to finishing them, that would be great. Figure out what I want to do with the putty blush. And then if I can get a pan in this, that'd be exciting too. So yeah, I think this was a pretty good update. Um, you know, I, I thought it was fun to look back and see where I've gotten to with all these products. And I'm excited that I've done pretty well. Um, I think what might be even more fun is, you know, at the end of the year or close to the end of the year, I could touch back, see, you know, touch base, see where I am. And then um, maybe some of these will be empties. Definitely this one <laughs> will 
will be an empty and um, hopefully this one as well. Oh, actually there was 11 items. So seven out of the 11 items are worked on, even better. Anyway, so yeah, these two should hopefully be done. Um, this one will be a struggle, but I will try, I will try. And then, yeah, that, that e.l.f. lip gloss does not smell good. So I need to work on that as well. It's such a shame with lip products. You buy so many and then you forget about them. I mean, so it smells okay. When I first opened it, it didn't smell very good. So yeah, it's probably turning. So yeah, I need to work on that. But um, that is the video, nice and short, but I thought it'd be fun to just recap and kind of go back in time and see where I've gotten to. Um, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe if you would like to, and I will see you next time. Bye.